Well, now let's look at one of the fighters who's reckoned to be just about the best in the world today. His name is Terry Norris, and he's defending his world light middleweight crown for the tenth time. He's dispatched all his opponents so far with absolutely ruthless efficiency. And the opponent for the Texan Norris in Puebla is the former world welterweight champion, champion Simon Brown. So there it is then, super middleweights, they're at welterweights or light middleweights, whichever we want to call them, 11 stone anyway. And uh, Terry Norris is a really good ring general, the man who finished the career of Sugar Ray Leonard, did it in style. Simon Brown, former welterweight champion, and now moved up in weight and become a, a number one contender. Delayed fight this one, he should have fought some time ago. But Brown actually pulled out the day of the fight. So he had uh, headaches and uh, suffered from dehydration apparently. So he lost his $230,000 for it. And uh, Norris hit his million. So I don't know where they're making up the money with this fight or not. Already Brown uh, looking a little bit intimidated the way he's ducking diving and trying to grab Norris around the waist. Brown's been a good fighter, Reg, but he's got that fellow who's just a little bit special on his night. I, I think the all-round boxer at the moment, Terry Norris, matches anybody in the world. Already it just looks as though it could be a quick one, Red. Right? Yep. <laughs> Had a walkover fight last time up on the Chavez Whitaker Bull. Terry Norris against Go Gatti. That was his tenth defence. He's Brown uh, trying to fire back a little bit now. I mean, nothing wrong with having a quiet opening round, but a couple of times Brown just looked as though he was trying to grab hold and survive. Excellent world to wait, I must say. Uh, but the, the bookmakers, at least the unofficial betting, has made Norris a very big favourite here. Brown just half a pound inside the 11 stone limit, or 154. A bit of retina problems too, Jim, you know, uh, Brown, when he fought, after he fought Buddy McGurk, he took se seven months out. That was a nice little lift, too, under the point of Brown's chin there. Yeah. Well, he's firing back now, this is better. Good quality stuff, isn't it? Straight left hand punched yep. him, I don't believe that really got him on the button there. Caught him a little bit square footed, Rizby, you can see the effect, he's very shaky. Can Brown cut him? What an upset this yeah, would be, right, right at the end of the round, he's lucky for Norris there. Well, that was sensational. He's still badly shaking, so that's exactly what Simon Brown needed, Red. He looked a little bit intimidated at the start of the round, but that will do a lot for his confidence. I think he's as shocked as Norris is. Well, he could do the same, the fellow in the other corner, he's, he's the one that's in trouble. Or well, has been, they're in there again now. You know, just seemed to be getting set to do something himself, right on it, he went. Yeah, his, his feet just slipped from under him, so somebody had whipped the carpet from under his feet there, Jim. See, he was getting set to let go his own jab, and he went right on, what a solid shot, right onto the chin. See, so he just gets straight ready to throw a punch, but bang, beaten to it. And his legs just gave way all together. I mean, at the stage in his career, he's young, he's fresh, he should throw the effects of that quickly. I wonder if he can make Brown pay for it. Second round, then. From the boxing technique, though, Jim, this is how it should be done, isn't it? Yeah, this is real quality stuff we're seeing here from both guys. Could be champions, you yeah. have a good look at this. Well, 
Well, Norris quite understandable to be trying to take the play away. He doesn't want to tell Brown that, well, I was worried about that. He looks as though he's shaking it off all right. But it's... Brown a little bit guilty of holding when they get up close. He just doesn't want to allow Norris to let the punches go up, up close. And Norris complained about that to the referee. Just didn't take his eye off Brown, though. Yeah, I think he's going to make him pay for it a bit here, Jim. Look, Brown's still coming back. Look, yeah. he's on the defensive, but he's still getting power into his counter punches. Well, him a bit from memory, but he can still do it. These are good shots coming from both of them rounds. Not as his right, keep the pace high. Don't let the old pro slow things down. Letting them find it inside like that. Well, Brown not holding now. Hands in front. Looking for the, the, the shots with the counters. Got the game, Rich. That one was high. Oh dear, what a turn up this could be. That punch caught high res, but sometimes they take longer to recover from. He was down against Australian Troy Waters, but he got up and won in the next round. Uh, Morris is going to be a habit. He's caught Brown a good throw of his shots, but hasn't shaken him. He's been shaking him twice. Time. Okay, again, Red, right, right at the end of the round. So we can see yeah, it from there the it was. That's the one, Red. Yep. Oh, yes. Seen you catch him a little bit oh. high. Again, his legs are all, to, all over the place. Third round then. Light middleweights, 11 stone. And uh, Terry Norris, the, the big favourite to win this. He's really been under fire there, really surprised me. But a lot of Stathia's plans to move up the divisions and fight everybody but uh, twice he's been shaken by a man who spent most of his career as a welterweight, so it doesn't all well if he's going to move up the middleweight and on. Once again, he's thrown the effects of the punch well. Seems he's back to normal again. Looks like Brown fancies his luck now, Jim, doesn't it? Yep, there he goes. He has the power, Reg. And uh, notice, I think that right hand gave him another couple of uh, problems here, Reg. There's all sorts of uh, pre-fight tips about this being a mismatch. I think there's a few words being eaten now. See, the problem for Norris, he's getting punches home, but he's never really troubled Brown. But that's twice, possibly three times he's been shaken up. There's always opinions, isn't there, in Britain and Europe about American fighters being harder and tougher. I've never really gone along with that, Jim. But what I do go along with is the fact that their technique is often superior. These are, these are really good boxers who can punch correctly. Yeah, and the, the Americans, you know, normally, generally speaking, put punches together more so than the, the British boxers who want to use the jab and open things up. But this is good action coming from both. Very capable insiders, aren't they? Yeah, this is really a quality championship fight here. Yeah. 
Brown's defence is opening up slightly here. Not quite as tough cut as it was in the earlier rounds. The first couple of rounds. Oh, peak of boost up there, Tom. Where are we? I'm going to give you a boxing lesson. This is really good. An amazing performance by Simon Brown, the man that's been written off a few times. Reggie's done that again. The that, left hook. Oh, dear. Legs are totally un just buckled on him there. And that's three times, every time at the end round, but that was the worst, Reg. He was really in serious trouble there. The left hook shook him up badly. Yeah, Brown come back with a right hand, but it was the left hook that did the damage. Let's have a look at it. See, here he comes. There goes, there's the left hook, then the right hand after that, but the left hook was the one that really shook him up. Look at the state he's in here. Fourth round now, what is going to happen here? Well... Norris can't keep shaking the effects of these punches in because they're full-blooded shots and I don't think it's quite recovered from that last one. His legs don't see look. No, his legs are not as strong. Going for him in a southpaw stance as well there, Simon Brown. Crowd are going crazy, the underdog. Norris has never troubled Brown with his shots. He's caught cleanly, but the old pro's always well tucked up with it. The neck muscles tensed. Three times he's almost knocked this fellow over. some credit to Reg, I mean he doesn't flinch it, that looks like the finisher Reg. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make that one Jim, when they go down like that on the back, no he can't make that, no way he's going to pull himself up for that, if he does the referee will stop it, his legs are dissipated completely in the fourth round, now in, the, in technical terms in the trade that's one of the great turn ups of boxing and you can see there can't you, I mean they look like they, this fellow can be suffocated under there Simon Brown. The best win of his career, former IBF World Away champion, and Terry Norris, within the trade, one of the hottest uh, boxers around, really fancied as being a, well, an all-time great at one point. But what a win for Simon Brown at 30 years old, born in Jamaica, and lives in Washington. Now then, let's have a look at that finish. So, I mean, Norris, although he'd been shaken badly, I give him credit for keep coming back, but once again, he makes a mistake. The old pro, bang. I want to see me catch him behind the ear, just high in the head again, and that completely finished the job. The way he went over, you could really see nothing much left to offer. Tremendous performance from Simon Brown. I can't believe that this is the man who finished Sugar Ray Leonard. Tries to make the climb, Jim, but the legs gave way immediately. See, reckless. Never at any time did Norris trouble Brown with the punches. The old pro was always tucked up, chin, nice and low, rolling, slipping, sliding with the punches, just waiting for the chance to come back with these counters that caused all the problems. That one seemed to be caught in a funny spot, Reg, kind of behind the ear, high. But what a finishing punch. Brown knows as he stands there, it's all over. Number by way of knockout, El Nuevo Campeón, the new WBC Super Welterweight Champion, Simon Brown. And that completes our boxing action on behalf.